I really think the main purpose of uh, the Loyola Bicentennial Celebration is to make students aware. You know, people are dead 100 years, 200 years, and we talk about Lincoln, he's on the penny, he's on the $5 bill. He's just part of the background noise of the American experience. But I think it's much more than that. And I think that once you study him a little bit, once you see what he's actually done, yes, he, he split, uh, split logs, yes, he owned a grocery store, yes, he played with children, yes, he wrestled with the other men in town, yes, he is self-taught, yes, he freed the slaves. But there's something much deeper and more important about this person. He'll live forever. Atlantic Magazine last year was listing the top 100 Americans, most influential Americans. He wasn't just voted the most influential president. He was voted the most influential American in our history. And I really think that's true. And his f less than five years service to this nation as president of the United States, he changed the face and the future of this country. Um, and for that, I, I think we owe him a debt of gratitude. But what's more important is to study his method by which he did it. Because what's really interesting about Lincoln and studying him both as a person and a politician, you may be his enemy and really hate him, but once you stop being his enemy or move to another position, he stopped making you his enemy because he wanted to remember that we can't kill each other just because we disagree. We have to somehow bind those wounds. And what he was very worried about in the, in the Civil War was we need to win this war, uh, but we also need to uh, bind the wounds of this war so that we can be a nation again. Three, two, one. Are we done? Yeah, that's great. Great.